Hello, cadets. Hello everyone, I am Rachel, and welcome to See Next Gen. Today is VTuber 101, How to Defend Yourself Online. I'm glad to say that I'm returned, and if anything, I'm ready for all of you. Are you ready for or me? I hope you are. Now, well, this thou mention. Allow me to make a tweet on behalf of the channel. And we will get underway. I hope over all, this lesson will end up helping future VTubers in the industry. Without further ado, let's get underway. Now, the commander has been having a hard time. That is quite true. But it seems he learns best when he's under pressure. My beloved commander is always having trouble making some rather bright decisions. He does have a learning curve after all. Now, shall we begin? I'm sure all of y'all are literally foaming at the mouth, even seething, of foreknowledge at least. Hey, 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 my eyes are up here. Don't look down here. No, 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 no. Eyes up here. Let's begin. So, y'all want to know how to defend yourselves online and protect yourselves. Well, first, let's talk about your social media. For people to protect themselves on social media, it's very important, especially you have public ones that have your face upon them. At times, you may want to overall end up privating these accounts by any means necessary. On Facebook, I highly suggest looking enough any tutorials on YouTube that are truly up to date to Facebook's overall knowledge of their systems. Facebook is always constantly updating their overall systems to overall to be more protective over their current over their people on their platform compared to Twitch. I mean, not Twitch, but Twitter. Oh, slash X is how my darling commander puts it. For me, it's one or the other. I really don't care. But even more so, I would have to say that to protect yourselves online is a very tricky endeavor. And making sure, or for some VTubers, they wipe all identities of their former life to achieve this goal, you look at people such as Taka or not from Team Four Star. He was a world popular celebrity before he became a VTuber. And he's well renowned and loved and adored. At times, you have VTubers that are well loved, renowned, and adored for their acting talents or even overall careers. 
Taka Orlant is known as a parody actor, someone that does parody animations for YouTube. But despite all this, not all VTubers have this overall, let's just say, background. Such as my darling commander, he doesn't have this background. This background is scar- uh, right behind it's between in scars, mistakes, and a painful history of let's put it that way. But despite all this, I will have to say that despite all he's been through, it has not defied him as a person. As a matter of fact, it's only made him more endearing and stronger, and even, at times, just so adorable and innocent. But despite all his adorable and innocentness, there is a dark side to him. And y'all seen it, haven't you? I wish he could control his anger sometimes. That which falls into, like, obviously, as a BT, hiding your real identity at times is very important, if not completely important. Holding your identity close to your heart is one of the most important things as a BT for a lot of them. But to be frank, not all of us have that. Um, a leisure, such as the commander. Uh, I, I feel for my beloved. I feel for him so much. But despite all this, it has not stopped his career. He says, you can't break what's already broken. I am not going to argue right there. But as a BT, you must be willing to protect your identity and means. At most times, as much as possible, as private your personal accounts and even hiding your image. But as a VTuber, you find out that there's other issues that you must address. At least once or twice at most to do this to protect yourselves and watch over yourselves and keep yourselves safe from attackers, you must at least admit that they're attacking you once, maybe twice, and then quickly back off. I will mention that the commander has a hard time overall holding back his aggression and anger and disappointment and overall just emotions. It's what makes him human, even though I'm only half human. It won't take him, right? But despite all this, the commander is a really strong individual. And y'all need to be strong as well, if not even stronger. For you to be stronger than him is important. We can only teach you these lessons. One of the lessons is finding your own personal accounts away from prying eyes. But what if you have friends that have accounts with your images on them or family members, whether they be good or bad? Well, this is where you obviously have to end up contacting them or at least trying to, to reason with them and have them remove these images. But what if you can't? What if they don't want to remove them? What if they spread um, beyond your control? Well, this is where you need to bring awareness about it. And overall, the truth. The commander talked about the truth, how several individuals in his former livelihood really did not like him for his personality and even all traits and finally putting himself first. So they ended up uh, putting some rather slanderous images on Facebook to try to overall prove that they are tougher and greater than him. A human or a person should never try to see that they're tougher or greater than another. It's one of the, the issues you'll run into a VTuber. You want to try to prove yourself and even show you're stronger. You should never do that. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone but yourself. Am I clear? All right. So as a VTuber, you must protect your image. You must find ways to remove certain imagery on the internet that endangers your livelihood, exposing yourself. And even more so, I will, oh, I'd say, 
then to fight the model you choose, to protect yourself even further, make sure the model at times at least resembles some parts of you, or at least entirely, or at least some traits of your family history. That, especially if you go with the humanoid type, um, fair enough. And now, despite all this, I uh, want to say that the next step you end up overall protecting yourself after you expose what the people have done to you, you leave them alone, you let them fester and spoil in their own failures as they're literally grabbing a steel chair and banging against their heads. And just pure anger and desperation. This is when your attackers really start their overall panic. They realize they've been cut off, and now that they know that they can no longer harm you, they start main-calling you. They start calling you out. They start overall contacting other people, and overall oh, try to cut off your followers and resources. This is where you should make a second video addressing this. Addressing the second video of what this person has done. First, bringing awareness and addressing people to be prepared for this situation. And somebody is out there lying and slandering your name and accusing you of things. This is uh, very troubling. If they're doing this, just ignore them. They are literally heading down a road of self-destruction. They are literally in a car or that has a time bomb underneath and, and is literally driving off a cliff. And then and obviously it goes boom and they just destroyed their own self-career and image and livelihood online. It's a metaphorical term for that of a self-destructive nature of a career or choice. Let it be known that protecting your image is important. Now, obviously, there are some people that have struggled with this, and that's up to you having friends in your corner to make sure that you're, they're aware of your issue to ask advice. There's people you need to ask your guides for on these situations that can end up helping you in your darkest hour. Your darkest hour is falling under attack, and you'll need advice. A lot of people don't understand VTubers or the VTubing industry. This is why VTuber 101 has been constructed on live streams to help teach all of y'all certain lessons, goals, and ambitions, and as well as how the scene works to overall better your lives. I want to also mention that despite piping your social media, also making sure putting certain security measures, especially if you're or on your own, and you don't have a lot of money at first to literally do so. There's another way you can do it. Getting apps, security apps for your platforms, including Discord. My beloved commander's Discord has got a specially made app that I found out off the end of overall overpricing. I gonna have to make sure I snap her neck for that one. And then realign it without killing her. But uh, despite all this, I will have to say, at least the app is nice and secure. It makes sure any and all toxic attackers do not end up harming the public discord. They have tried. Each and every one of them have failed. Let me show you the individuals that have been banned from this discord. As I'm going to be real, these individuals are blocked and rightfully so. Let's take a look. Look at that. Oh, is that an imposter that stole our art? Hmm, I wonder who this one is. I think that was a money scammer at one time. <gasps> you see this one? Oh, little kitty cat got blocked from breaking the rules. What a shame for you. 
That is a disgusting art. No wonder why you were blocked. Oh, what a shame for y'all. Y'all ended up attacking the public discord. And because of this, y'all were blocked. There were more, but they ended up deleting their discord accounts. Meaning that Oshie's security app actually works wonderfully. What a magnificent app, even though she overcharged him for it, making sure that your community public is for it, is safe, is always very important to do so. To keep the, your public security, your pu public overall. Oh, app safe and secure is your number one goal as that of an indie YouTuber. Apps like this, rather you go with one online that you can just download for free, or hiring someone to make a security app like the commander did. I'm gonna have to snap his neck later for spending that much money on a security app. Is always very, very important. Such apps and such rules and programs are important for your VTuber safety and your community, I might add. That which goes into the next last lesson. You must always be prepared to defend your community. It's your job not only to entertain them, but to keep them safe and happy and healthy. This is everyone's job as a BT when you create a community discord, such as the commander did. He's totally left for us, but he applied himself in the near future for this security app to be deployed and put on the public discord. Anybody and everybody can join this discord. It's very easy. But even more so, so you protect your community discord. You all are obviously privated your, or, or personal accounts. But how do you defend yourself on things such as YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, the whole nine yards? That falls on the websites, features. I'm going to be real. These three websites have their own security features. Each and every one of them can be accessed from within the overall old, old tabs of the controls. And I'm going to be real. It is quite simple. Twitter slash X it does not have these features. As a matter of fact, they threw out the security features outside of the, you know, the 50 story window. That's being too generous. I'm gonna have to say that of a 10,000 story window. They literally threw its existence out the window and went flat on the ground. And then they decided to drop a nuclear bomb right on top of it. I'll say, give us money and lawyers. Elon, you're a horrible person. You, uh, you're more worried about your porn stash than you are your absolute boo job. This is a lot. I'm going to head over to the security tabs. And I'm going to end up feeding it into the stream. Uh, please allow me a moment. As we're going to go into the security tools, as the commander has given me permission to do so. There are certain ways each and every person can end up defending themselves on Twitter slash X, and these rules can be enforced. So... At least manually. So, what I'm gonna end up doing is, uh, <laughs> let's see here. Opening up a separate umbrella screen capture source. Add. <laughs> so, this falls under Twitch moderation. Mm 
version. As you can see, there is a digital manual way for all of you to end up doing this. You can implement rules to the chat rules. This ends up protecting your mental health and the health of your er content creation platform. The number one rule all VTubers should have is you must be 18 years or older to watch. This system will notice if you have an account that is 18 years or under. VTubers jobs are not to entertain children, but we can't help what they watch. You must put this rule in place for the protection. Commander made this a code red. A code red is literally banned for one month. Do not tell the streamer how to do their job. This means, obviously, other people have told the commander and other streamers how they should live their lives and do their job. This is a rule that was implemented as a code red. Color coding the rules is also showing that of how all overall important the rules are for a simple crowd. Red is no sell promotion or advertising. That means no advertising your platform or yourself on our platform breaks the rules, we break you. Be respectful and civil to everyone and welcoming to everyone. This literally is saying, be kind, be gentle, be respectful, and never, ever be disrespectful, rude, or even that of just overall disgusting. No harassment, threats, eating, doxing, hate speech, racism, sexism, profanity, or offensive behavior. We're going to end up adjusting this for all platforms. These are the rules of Code Red. Code Red lets you know where you screwed up. Code Orange. Do not misuse or spam the channel. This means, obviously, do not misuse the channel's information or spam it. This is a, a spam your messages or misuse your messages in any way. This is a code orange. An orange is lighter than red. That's why we went with it. A second code orange, don't tell streamers you're leaving and for another streamer. It's usually disrespectful or even to that of the streamer. Several VTubers have this as it lets people know that if you're going to leave the streamer, please do so in a quite kindly fashion. We understand our content is not for everyone, so that's why I, this security feature is in place. No asking for personal information. This can cause that of credit cards, locations, um, <laughs> A relationship status in the real world or the fourth dimension or oh, I exist plane of existence as yes never code orange no arguing with the streamer or anyone in chat this means obviously no arguing please in a negative fashion if you're going to argue Make sure it's valid criticism, not just for the sake of arguing. And finally, the only code violet, no adult or foul language. Orange lets you know, obviously, your account will be banned until the end of the stream or muted. Violet is letting you know you will be just muted. Protecting yourself and your community online is a VT's job for your success as a chosen level of responsibility. Responsibility is very important for all VTubers, and it's your job to make sure that this responsibility, health, and that of overall future is that well in hand. It is your job as a VTuber to overall be responsible, kind, and even that of engaging.
while protecting anything and everything you work on, you can also end up entering these features on YouTube. Ooh, at least in the comment session, section. As you can activate monitoring on YouTube as well. Let's go to YouTube and the commander's YouTube in general. As we're going to go to his YouTube studio and overall show it. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, I am in the commander's apartment. I kind of gave him a couple of sleepy sleep pills for this one. In his, uh, in his grim titties. I'm going to take this one over. <laughs> because he's a little on edge. And he needs his nappy time. You can find this security feature under... I'm... I really should ask about this. Instead of putting them to sleep. <sighs> My bed. My bed. Maybe it's in the settings. No. Do you think I need to wake up the commander? Do you think I need to wake him up and ask for help? I don't want to ask him for help. He's sleeping. And I don't need to. He gets rather cranky when he wakes up. But he's so cute when he's sleeping. Uh, let's see here. Just it would be under settings. Yeah, quite troubling. I really should have asked for advice. Where is it? I guess it, it is important. Instead, so we're just going to look up a tutorial. How about that? A little tutorial video for a little all of you. Allow me to find a tutorial video, as I think that would be better off. How to... Ooh. Hmm, I guess protect... Your channel security. I think that would be more important. Wouldn't y'all take that? I think it would be better. Ah, here we go. No, it's on hacking.
I guess it's Garrett. What do y'all think? Tutorial on that? None other than... As you know, YouTube security. Mm -hmm. The Jersey. At YouTube, we take account security. Hold on. I love you to open the window. And move myself over again. As I walk over here, let's begin. Pretty seriously. In this video, we'll give you tips for keeping your channel safe. We encourage you to take four simple steps to secure your account. First, turn on two-step verification for the account. Second, set and regularly check your channel level permissions. Next, create a strong password and don't share it. And finally, be aware exactly. of and report potential scams. Two-step verification helps prevent a hacker from getting into your account, even if they gain access to your login information. You can turn this on by going to myaccount.google.com slash security. Once there, click two-step verification, then get started. Once you verify your account info, you'll be able to set up a device to receive a secure notification. If you'd like to use your phone, you'll need to make sure you're signed into your Google account. To send a secure <laughs> notification to your phone, click try it now. Once you tap yes on your device, you'll be asked to set up a backup text or phone call option. After you confirm this backup option, click turn on to enable two-step verification. It's also important to know who has access to your channel. To stay safe, check your permissions regularly and remove anyone you don't recognize or who shouldn't have access. Check out the links below to learn more. A strong and complex password helps prevent hackers from guessing your login information. Here are some tips for creating a strong password. Make it more than eight characters long. Use a combination oh, no. of upper and lower what case letters, have a strong numbers, password? and symbols. Avoid using personal information and common words or patterns like password123 or your birthday. And remember, don't share exactly. your password or login with anyone. Hackers can disguise themselves as someone you trust to try and take personal information. YouTube emails only come from at youtube.com or at google.com email addresses. Don't reply, click on links, nice. or open attachments from suspicious emails or messages. If you'd like to no, learn no, more no. about how to secure your YouTube channel, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Why the informative video? Now, that out of the way. You now know how to protect your YouTube channel, right? As you are a beginning you VTuber, you need a YouTube channel, and implementing these security features will make sure no more trouble comes your way. Now, even more so, what else can you do to protect your image? Well, on Twitter slash X, there's really no uh, way to do it. Unless you're part of a brand, have lots of money and lawyers. As the commander told me, you basically need an island nation full of lawyers, money, and an official business backing you. 
why. But I, you can't end up stopping all attackers. They come and go. They rise and fall. It's your job to bring awareness and outlast them. You bring awareness of their existence, what they're doing, and how to better prepare your org, the doing community that you hold dear and precious to your heart. And they hold you dear and precious to your heart for protecting them. It is every streamer's job to make sure that they're safe and protected. That's your job. And in return, eventually, they will love and adore you in return as well. Overall, it's also your responsibility to keep, keep a clean record. The commander has no current criminal record. I will say this right here and now, my beloved is queen. But there is individuals that are upset and angry at him. And in the long run, I'm about to say my beloved can be a bit frustrating, if not angry at times. You must keep a cool head, but for him, it's really hard. If not troubling at most. As a VTuber, your image is important. It always will be. It always has been. And it's your job to make sure that safety is secure, not only for you, but everyone that follows you. Now, you should also protect your resources. The people that you end up depending on for all your success and your career, their identities and safety must be also taken into equation with this. This is also very important to protect your community and yourself along with your career. You must be willing to protect your allies your friends, your brothers and sisters in arms. Also very important to do that. Well, oh, constantly monitoring your attackers, but never engaging them after the fact. It's your job to overall make sure that they're on a constant watch list and they're constantly banned. To be safe in the BT scene is to protect your image online, keep a clean record, end up helping benefit the scene in any way, shape, or form. Right now, VTuber 101 has been returned, obviously, to help not only the BT industry and future VTubers, but even that of us. We are here to for VTuber 101 to make sure that our image is fixed and given a better look. I'm going to be real. It won't fix it right away, but it's a beginning road to fix our image. The commander has been busy cleaning his digital house, privating his personal Facebook account, while also in the, uh, obviously, you're taking more to miss your role of monitoring his attackers on a constant daily basis while also keeping the safetyness and happiness of everyone that watches our streams. Thank you so much. I have been informed earlier today by Ashi that I will be given my own segment on the next, obviously, seed. News Network, but Greta handles fashion. The Commander has it, handles video games. Ashi handles 3D VTubers in the scene. I myself is gonna be end up handling 3D monster draw VTubers that enter the scene. As Ashi will handle more of the uh, norm, I will be handling more of the abnormal oh, 3D monster girls in the scene. Thank you so much. I will have to say to everyone that watched this live stream, 
and you want to learn how to protect yourselves online, always remember private your personal information and accounts. Never reveal your private information while also end up of keeping the safety and happiness and developing a system to achieve that. It's always very important. To overall keep the healthiness and happiness of your communities and overall safetyness of yourself and the people around you. This is the job of every VTuber and content creator, but most importantly, VTubers. The next lesson will be that done by none other than Ashi, as she will go into a more explanation on how to get collabs. This is something that was not explored by my beloved commander as he went over 12 lessons instead of the last one. So this one's going to be his own personal lesson. And sometime next week, Ashi will do this lesson for all of you. And he will end up talking and telling you all how to overall get collabs. I've been Rachel Dragonstorm and I'm... I need to go over and kind of waddle with my a commander because I, I, I want to overall just feel his body warmth again <laughs> and play with his nuts in his sleep. Thank y'all so much. I've been Rachel on Dragon Storm. See you next gen, and uh, I will see y'all on the next planet. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.